One thing that very much doesn't give me peace of mind is my fear that all this rage, anger and public shaming is stopping people from saying what they really think, particularly if it's anything different or crazy or out of the box. Which, for a comedian, can be especially problematic. There are really fun names, the candidates for Labour leader. There's Rebecca Long-Bailey, who sounds like a delicious cocktail. <laughs> then there's Sir Keir Starmer, who sounds like something a Nazi officer would shout in the film. <laughs> Keir Starmer! Yeah. I mean, Jeremy Corbyn wouldn't call them a, a Nazi officer. He'd call them a passionate campaigner with <laughs> <laughs> legitimate concerns about Israel. Um... It was for this joke that fellow comedian Phil Wang attracted the wrath of social media. Did you feel threatened? I was on tour at the time, and someone tweeted me saying, um, we have your tour dates, we know where you're going to be, you better look out, better keep, you know, keep, keep your eyes over your shoulder, you better look out, better be careful. That is incredibly disturbing that someone can say something, however they might not enact it, that essentially means, right, you know, I might kill you. Yeah, because, I mean, the, the, the damage is... A part of the damage is already done just with the threat. You don't have to follow up with it. You've damaged someone's mental well-being by th threatening them with violence, even if you never carry it out, right? I do worry in a culture where a comedian makes a joke on a topical comedy show and, he, and his life is threatened, that that might make you think twice before you make the next joke like that. So the jokes we've lost, the comedy we've lost, is unquantifiable because we never saw it in the first place. Mob rule is significant, is real. And if someone is prevented from doing something or loses their job because of an online mob, that, that is an encroachment on their free speech because now their livelihood is, is threatened. Their family is threatened. Just because it isn't sanctioned by the state doesn't mean it isn't a very real repercussion for expressing an honest opinion. So in, in effective terms, you, you have lost an element of free speech. I can't say anything that's going to fuck me up. Because, mm -hmm. like, that white box is there all the time to destroy us, yeah. isn't it? Like, we're all one tweet away from absolute cancellation and destruction and whatever. Millions of people have in their phone uh, a resignation app. <laughs> They've got a little blue resignation app. Anytime you want, you've had enough of your job, just get on this app. Yeah. 